Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today, July 30th, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. China hacked the Vatican. According to a recent cybersecurity report, both the Hong Kong Archdiocese and several Catholic church-related organizations were penetrated by a communist-backed hacking group. The infiltration targeted the Vatican and the Holy See's study mission to China. The move comes shortly before the renewal of the notorious Vatican-China deal this September. In related news, voters think China should pay for damage done by the Wuhan virus. A new Rasmussen poll shows 53% of all voters think China should help with the financial costs of the pandemic, with 50% blaming China for the virus that originated in Wuhan. Multiple intelligence agencies believe the Wuhan virus leaked from the Chinese lab and the communist government covered it up. Catholics are blasting a Texas bishop for praising an abortion activist. San Antonio Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Siller got backlash on social media after tweeting high praise for the late John Lewis. Quote, thanks to those who honor a great man in the United States, John Lewis, he showed endurance, love, and service for all Americans, for all. Poland's prime minister is denouncing LGBT desecration. Tuesday night, LGBT militants draped a pride flag around the Statue of Christ outside the Warsaw Basilica, spray painting the F word. Yesterday, conservative PM Matosz Morawiecki said a line had been crossed and he would not allow it. In Poland, we will not make the mistakes of the West. We all see what tolerance towards barbarism leads to. A proposed Scotland law could criminalize the Bible and the catechism. Yesterday, Scotland's bishops released a letter warning that the government's new hate crime bill could lead to religious censorship. Anthony Horan, director of Scotland's Catholic Parliamentary Office, said, quote, the Catholic Church's understanding of the human person, including the belief that sex and gender are not fluid and changeable, could fall foul of the new law. Detroit police are keeping law and order. Police Chief James Craig made an appearance on Fox News host Tucker Carlson's show Tuesday night rejecting mob violence. So when you talk about what's different here, we have a city that has stood together. And oh, by the way, I know there's a lot of conversation about the mayors in some of these big cities. Our mayor stands with this police chief, stands with this police department, that we are not going to tolerate this uptick in violence. His attitude stands in stark contrast to Democrat-led cities being overrun by mob violence. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today, where Michael says Catholics need to know the faith. God bless you.